Hello everyone, so this is just a real quick example of the CD74HC4076. This is an analog, 16 channel analog multiplexer. Um, I'm only using 8 channels of it right now. Um, just didn't want to do all that wiring and breadboarding, you know, lazy. So what this thing really does is you can add yourself some analog pins. I'm only using 5 pins of the Adreno. Arduino, whatever, um, and I'm gaining 16, I'm going to use an 8, but I gain 16, these can act as inputs, outputs, so really simple to use, uh, multiplexers running, you know, great stuff, the code, very, very easy for this little project, uh, all we're going to do, so this works on enable being set to low to uh, make it work, so what we're going to do is we're going to define our enable pin, our sig signal pin. So enable is pin 7, signal is pin 6. Uh, then our outputs to get to pins S0 through S3 are on pins 2 through 5 here. All right, so setting this up, we're just going to set up a byte array. Uh, I've got 8. In there that's representing you know if you read through it depending how good your your binary is but we'll take a look when we define you know byte uh, extended pins it's telling us the very first one is going to be uh, all zeros so this is going to be in position so the very last zero is for TX the last two are for TX and RX we're never going to touch those two um, the third from the end zero uh, and then three more of those that's what's telling us you know it's zero that's pin zero when you look at the next box we have B zero one zero 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 one zero zero so that's really we're looking at the zero one and that's telling us it's pin one we move through our binary and that's you know just a binary count it's pretty simple defining each pin when we come into setup, DDRD is going to tell us what we're using the pins for. So our pins th 2 through 7 are being set up as output pins. That's what the ones are for. And the last two zeros are, are again, 0 and 1, TX, RX. So we're going to leave those alone. We come into our for loop, and we're just going to loop through eight times, one for each LED that's hooked up. Um, it's going to push the byte array, and we're good to go. Um, yeah, it doesn't really get much simpler than that. Um, a really handy little device, especially if you're using like a Nano or something smaller. Um, really good thing. Yeah, I hope that helps. Bye.